So Swamiji, what is the link between you and Italy? What made you come here with us? Uh, see, we say everything is being planned. Even though sometimes we don't want to do certain things, but we do. So also me coming to Italy as though it was planned. I remember the incident. Uh, it was uh, Stefania. If I'm right, in 2010. Uh, we had be 2009 if I am right, not 10. She had been to Himalayas. So one Swamiji, Swami Ram Surpananji, and he had called me and I met her and I was taking few classes and after that she invited me and I came to Italy and I am keep coming from then. So can you tell us uh, some more about uh, the Yoga Vidya Association? Exactly. What is the purpose? Fantastic. Actually earlier Stefania Rashito, she was exposed to yoga, studied yoga in Italy, did long term course and used to go to India regularly having association with many Indian masters and was running one cultural association here also in Italy. But after she came in contact with me and when I visited Italy after having classes over here she thought of changing her organization because it is better to ask her rather than asking me <laughs> why she changed and how she changed but however I can say this much she was being inspired by Yoga Vidya mm -hmm. and she made she took a decision to start Yoga Vidya Italia as a part of you can say the Italian version of Yoga Vidya and if I look at that angle she is the founder I happens to be the inspirer this is my link this is my relationship with Yoga Vidya Italia and what's the difference between uh, uh, Yoga Vidya and other kind of organization regarding yoga? See, every organization is great as for them. But most of the organization, they don't allow students to grow. Why? Because if the student grows, they will not have anything to do. First of all, they don't look at you as a student. Always they make you as a devotee. Mm -hmm. That's why they will portray their guru in a big way. Their organization is great. Their activities is very exclusive. And the worst thing is their teaching is secret. <laughs> I can share you a beautiful experience. The person is no more. One Indian master who was very famous in Europe and he initiated he initiated a person with a mantra and was very exclusive mantra he said. And this person said look because one of the pop star very famous pop star mm -hmm. he said look to give you mantra you have to come to India and he took a special flight and from Delhi to Rishikesh he took those days went by a chopper a helicopter and reached to his ashram 
and he gave a mantra and he said it's very ex exclusive mantra very secret don't tell anybody because i have given the best mantra to you i'm telling you the truth what I, the person went through and of course for that exclusive mantra you have to pay exclusive dakshina <laughs> exclusive payment was made and this guru never thought that such a busy person will be visiting rishikesh town but he decided to visit rishikesh town but this guru said no no don't go don't waste time we better to go back he said no i have come all the way let me see little bit rishikesh mm -hmm. as he come down he heard the mantra is being so chanted in the loudspeaker <laughs> the mantra that he was being initiated and he was shocked how can it be secret how can my teacher say that it is secret and nobody knows i am giving you exclusive mantra this is the common trend of organization so we are different from this standpoint that we look at people as student in fact we are interested in student not in devotees mm -hmm. and i understand it's quite a, a lifelong learning definitely in fact if we look at our life as long as we are learning that long we are alive the day we stop learning same moment we are, we are dead. dead in fact that is what we are working 